observation of wild species of cat? Well, it comes from it comes from the uh, the domestic cat. So I suppose when I grew up in Edinburgh, when we first moved to 54 Murrayfield Avenue when I was about three or four years old, there was a, a resident, more or less feral cat that seemed to regard this as his home. I, I guess he'd been given a few scraps of food. He was a cranky old thing, with one ear torn off from cat fights. He was a tom, I mean, an intact tom. Perfect subject for uh, your little experiments. There. <laughs> <laughs> but he was called, or at least we called him, Smudge. And I remember old Smudge, he was a real cantankerous guy. He, if he was in the mood, you know, you, he would let you touch him and maybe stroke his hair. Otherwise, he just kind of kept himself to himself. He would show up occasionally once in a while, even poke his nose into the kitchen door. And old Smudge was that strange, for a, for a small child, a strange example of something that is so independent. He doesn't, well, if he's in the mood, you know, he'll show you a little affection. But most of the time, it's like, you know, he's, he's, he's an opportunity. He's just there to fill his belly and put up with you as a human, as a small human. In fact, he seemed to be nicer to me than he was to my parents. Probably because I was smaller and they were big and a bit more scary. But Smudge was the first cat and he wasn't really our cat, he was <coughs> nature's cat. He was a, a suburban Edinburgh <laughs> opportunist. And then I think later on we, we actually did have a pet cat who was black. Which probably was the, uh, the reason that I've always had a bit of a soft spot for black cats. Which of course some, some people are a little twitchy about black cats. They think it's the, you know, it's the... the the devil incarnate or something. They're, 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 they don't like black cats, even though they might like tabbies or fluffy persians or whatever. But I've always rather liked black cats. And the first time I got away from the black cat was uh, much later in life when I, um, and I... And I have to say, I'm not really proud of doing this, but I, I did have a Bengal. The Bengal, for those of you who know, is a very, very pretty looking, spotted sort of domestic cat. But it's, uh, it results from the work that was done by a geneticist in California, a lady called Jean Mills in the early 70s, who, in her search for uh, some way to combat feline leukemia, stumbled upon the reality that there was a, a degree of resistance to that particular nasty uh, disease from uh, uh, Felis bengalensis, the, uh, the Asian leopard cat, which was you know, a small guy by the size of your domestic cat, but very spotted, a bit like the Margay that we saw on the screen earlier. And uh, she crossbred that with a domestic cat to produce, as a byproduct, a very pretty looking, slightly more tame animal, which was again crossed with, with more domestic cats to produce, uh, we, with each successive generation.